Hi and welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start mining today. Uh, what I wanted to do for my viewers is show them how they can start mining before they go to sleep tonight. Um, if you don't know me, I am the King of Dew, host of Dew News, and I'm here to bring you this step-by-step -step tutorial. So, let's get started. First thing is, is I want to actually talk about the concept of mining and what that actually means. I'm going to bring up um, what's going on right now on my computer, and this is happening in the background while I'm making this video on this actual computer. I have one card set up to mine right now. My other card is doing some processing and things of that nature. But I am doing GPU mining. And I want to talk about, before we begin, what this is all about. What is mining? What does it really mean? And uh, what is cryptocurrency? What is blockchain? What does it all mean to me? Help me make sense of this because it sounds funky and too good to be true. And why the hell does a Bitcoin or an Ethereum or an Ether... Um, have any value whatsoever it has no value it's not backed by anything well neither is the neither is the dollar in the same way that the USD dollar is backed by the government's ability to keep it stable the same is true for uh, these cryptocurrencies except the government is us it is the people it is the consensus that decides such now what else is backing it well Basically, uh, miners help back the currency, um, which is a very, very important concept to understand. Now, basically what mining is, is you set up your computer to talk with the blockchain in order to confirm transactions. That's it. It is confirming actual transactions. You can see right here that these are individual transactions being confirm see how it's receiving a job it may be hard to read but it receives a job and confirms that transaction really did happen so that's what's actually happening here um, and it's really important to understand that that's what mining is I think a lot of people get real confused about where where does this money come from well every time someone needs to do a transaction they actually have to pay the miners to confirm it otherwise it's not real um, Otherwise, it does not make the ledger, it does not go on the blockchain. We confirm it, and we get paid for confirming these transactions. So you can see I'm confirming lots of transactions right now, um, and that is, and I'm getting my reward. Now, I have to invest a lot of time and money. Some of you are hobbyists and thinking about getting into this maybe as a hobby, or you want to just invest money. Let me make it really clear that it does take a lot of time and energy to get good at this stuff. But the point of today's video is for those people that just want to dip their toe in the water, get started today on mining. And so that's what I'm going to show you step by step. I'm going to show you this right here. I'm going to make sure you guys can see this. This right here is a GPU unit. This is a lot of value. This um, was created by people... Uh, that are much much smarter than me much much smarter than most of the people watching this uh, essentially this does very very complicated algorithms and that's exactly how we confirm transactions that you see happen on my screen right now this is this is how we confirm transactions with really complicated algorithms that's so that you know it's essentially a security feature to help make sure that people don't um, you know fake it I guess um, making sure that it, uh, um, making sure that it's not a human, but the actual computer is being um, doing the processing, things of that nature. So it's a little complex, but basically, at the end of the day, this is this is a lot of processing power. You guys might know what a computer processing unit is: a CPU. This is a GPU, and if I actually take this off right here, this top part, um, you would actually see that there's something that looks just like a CPU on there. It's specifically designed to do complicated algorithms at a very, very high amount of uh, speed, essentially, and it takes a lot more power than a traditional uh, CPU. And so that's what this is. This is essentially what you'd want to start mining if you want to get serious, and if you're talking about making this a hobby, um, you can purchase this at your local like Best Buy, for instance, or a Fry's, or just a computer store, you're gonna find GPUs like this. I'm gonna show you in this video exactly which type you probably should get right now. 
based on the market and what you should be doing to make some money. But that's it right there. That's it. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, when you plug one of these into your computer, you would actually use this as your monitor as well. You'd want to plug into this, which is really uh, critical you understand that and you actually think about that. Um, so there you have it. That is a GPU unit. Um, and that is how I add value to these coins. I am helping back it because I believe in it. I am uh, verifying transactions on it. I get rewarded. Uh, the person on the other end finds value in me um, tr uh, confirming the transaction, and we find value in each other. I, I find value in his transaction by helping make it go through. So that is how value is created, and essentially that's what the currency is, and that's why there's value, and that's why it's a very real thing. This is real and tangible, guys. This is very real, and essentially that's what you need to start mining is... Uh, you need some GPUs, ideally. You can mine with CPUs, but we'll touch on that soon. So here we go. We're going to start mining right here, right now. I'm going to help you walk through this. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to this website called um, nicehash.com. So go ahead, and if you uh, are listening to me, go to nicehash.com. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to click on Get Started at the top. And it's going to, you know, tell you all about it. And I encourage you to read it if you're new. But you're going to scroll down here and you're going to click this nice hash miner. Okay. You're going to click this and it's going to take you to this page and it's going to say uh, download or learn more. Well, we are actually going to uh, learn more real quick. I want you guys to uh, learn more uh, so you'll scroll down here and you're actually going to read about how it works it's very important you understand that next um, feel free to pause and do do what i'm asking you to do and hit play again but next we're going to click this profitability calculator and as you can see here this is a calculator to figure out how much money you're going to make if you decide to start mining as a hobby or invest um, if you click on this drop down on the left you can actually click right here and see all of the different types of GPU units that exist that you can buy. Um, you can buy them online or at the store. Um, over here you can see your cost and your power. You can set your electricity cost for whatever it is in your area. And then once you select, you hit calculate. When you hit calculate, it's going to spit out what the most profitable amount of uh, types of mining you could be doing but essentially how much money you can make each day. I selected an NVIDIA 1070. That is the card I would recommend you run out and buy. I just spent all day running around my entire city. I bought every last one in the entire city um, and every city surrounding the city. I, no joke, guys. After my, morning, after my morning videos, I got in my truck. I bought every single GTX 1070. There are none left. They are selling out very, very quickly. Um, that is the last card out there that is uh, uh, probably the most profitable of what's left out there. Um, if you happen to find a RX 750, um, or not 750, gosh, sorry. If you find an RX 470, an RX 480, an RX 570, an RX 580, buy it. Um, that is a better card for mining. But on this particular episode, because I know that those are sold out everywhere, the card that you can buy today, you can go down to my link below um, and shop on Amazon. I appreciate it if you do. Supports the channel. I get a little bit of money from it. But you can go and you can buy a GTX 1070 GPU on Amazon right now. It's going to run you about 400 to $450. But you can get that and you'll be mining two days from now if you prime it. You can go to Best Buy. Best Buy will have 1070s in stock. Um, they'll have different kinds. Uh, just get the one that um, is the best price for you. And uh, since you're new to this and you're just getting started, just get the one that's the best price um, so you can get going right away. Um, that's my best advice right now is these 1070s. So I have sh I'm showing you 1070, and as of right now, if you run a single 1070, um, after your power costs, after your income per day, your, your net profit is right here, and it's about $5.29 in USD. Uh, it's going to depend on your wattage, but in essence, just say let's just say $5 a day. You will make $5 a day. Your electricity bill is going to go up. Be on the lookout for that. You're going to need to pay that. 
Um, but keep in mind you're trading about 30 cents a day for five dollars. I would do that over and over and over again as many times as I possibly can. So you should too, right? Um, and so that's how you actually figure out how much you can make based on the card. Now, maybe you wanna go through and click on every single one and actually see how much money you could be making. That's great. That's great, get educated. Maybe make an Excel sheet and write down all the different numbers on what you could be making. Um, and that will help educate you. You'll become much wiser. You'll know about the cards that most people buy. So that is how you pick out um, a card is trying to figure out how much you're gonna make. So if we go back here, you can actually see here on the uh, page, right now our RX 480 is making about 564 per day and the Nvidia 1070 that I recommend you get before they're sold out, they will be sold out everywhere soon, 557. Um, I kid you not guys, drop what you're doing and buy one. Today is a day to get involved. Don't be interested in mining, get involved because the time to get involved is going to go away. Cards won't be available and you'll be sitting on the sidelines while everyone else is making money and we'll continue to make money because there's no one to share rewards with. Um, and so now is the time to take action, guys. Uh, get involved, make it happen. Uh, don't wait. Okay, so you're gonna click download right here. You're gonna click download the hash miner here. And essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a zip file. You're just gonna extract that zip file. And um, essentially what you're going to find inside of that, what I like to do is I set up this little mining folder on my desktop, it's convenient right um, and that's where I extract all my mining files to here we've got nice hash miner and the first thing you're going to want to do is first you're going to actually install the card so hopefully you pause the video you ran to Best Buy uh, or someplace nearby that has 1070s you came back you have your precious card um, you know if your computer can support two or more get some more but you know maybe you're just dabbling go ahead and just go ahead and just buy one so the first thing is uh, you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and just plug the unit in, and uh, you'll be ready to start mining. Um, make sure your screens turn on and everything, and everything's working. Now, if you set up more than one card, you may need to you may need to actually look for the other card. If you click on Control Panel, if you go to your Control Panel, you click Device Manager, you click Display Adapters on this drop down. You can see here I can see my two cards. So that's really important that you can actually see your 1070s or whichever card you choose to buy, you'll see them here, okay? You just wanna make sure that they're active and you have no errors. If you have some issues, let me know in the comments. I'll try to respond. Um, and there's also some great Reddits to join to help you with the, any issues you might run into. So once you have this and you know your cards are being detected, if you have an AMD card, which I did not recommend, but if you got a Radeon AMD uh, 470, 480, you got a 570, 580, you're gonna click AMD OpenCL device detection. You're just gonna double click that. Um, if you have an Nvidia, you will click CUDA device detection. You're just gonna double click it, okay? Uh, a screen will pop up real quickly um, and disappear. All this is doing is telling the program what cards you have. It's looking for them and registering them, right? Simple. Next, if you have an NVIDIA, you'll want to click this down here, NVIDIA setup zero state. Double click that. It'll ask you to run as admin. Go ahead and say yes. And then you are ready to start mining. But no joke, guys, that's it. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna bring this over here. So I'm mining right now. Uh, one card and I'm not making that much right now because uh, I'm using a lot of power to record this video um, I have multiple monitors set up and things of that nature So um, I'm making less than what the recommended or suggested amount is But I have one card running in the background right now. I've got this one running right here and you can actually see um, How much I'm making per day and you can actually see the uh, total balance that I've built up since I downloaded the new version so I just got this uh, set up today because I uh, bought some new cards and upgraded the ones I had to do more mining um, and I wanted to do this video so I got them plugged in to show you guys so brand new wallet set up and everything um, just for this 
Um, so that's really exciting too. So when you come in here, I'm gonna go ahead and stop mining for a moment. When, to set up, the first thing you wanna do is set this to your local area. So if you're in Europe or US, China, Japan, wherever you are in the world, select the one that's closest to you. Next, you're gonna need a Bitcoin address, oh boy. Maybe you don't even know what a Bitcoin is yet, okay? You've heard of Bitcoin and you've heard of mining and all your friends at work are making money and you aren't or something like that, right? So you're going to need to make sure you go and you get a great little wallet. So the best wallet I recommend for newcomers is down in my description. I always have it for newcomers. It's called Exodus. So go ahead and pause the video and go download Exodus wallet on that link. When you come back... Um, this is what it's essentially going to look like. So let me bring this over here. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful little wallet with a bunch of different types of currencies. Make sure you back up your wallet so if you ever gets lost, you're good to go. Next, um, what you're going to want to do is click this Receive button. You're going to double click this Receive button. Uh, anyone who wants to send me donations, uh, feel free to use this one uh, if you'd like. But you're going to basically just copy this and then you are going to plug it in here okay um and then that's it next you go to worker name this is just what you call your machine they they want you to name it okay so don't over complicate it i just called mine my pc you could call it anything you want okay uh, maybe pc1 or worker1 or something like that this is the part you need to pay attention Everything up to this point is very easy. This part can be a little tricky, so just pay real close attention. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to benchmark. You're going to click this benchmark button. You're going to get a whole new screen here. You're going to want to make sure you click both your GPUs um, or however many you have. Maybe you have one. Maybe you set up eight, um, but you're going to click on all of them. Make sure you click standard or precise. Um, this basically is going to test the cards. It's going to see how strong and powerful they are um, and uh, optimize them for mining. Okay, so it's going to basically set up a config file automatically for you, which is really handy. But here's the thing that's important. You have, even though you have these clicked, you must click on here. Look at that, just this populated right here, right? Here are all the different algorithms you might mine with your machine. Okay? The reason we use NiceHash for newcomers is because it will automatically pick the most profitable thing to mine and reward you for it. Okay? So you could you can go on vacation and um, prices of currencies can change, etc. But what no matter what, this tool will automatically shift for you to the one that makes the most money. Very, very convenient for someone new. And you're not sure what to mine. Right now, you just wanna make your money back on your investment. You'll learn more later about why you might want to choose some other ones. It's speculative investing and mining, essentially. Or maybe you mine in something because you actually believe in it and you wanna support it. You wanna support the cause. You can do that in mining, which is fantastic. So. Once you have all of these selected, make sure you click on all your cards and you've selected the ones that are available. It should auto-populate based on your card. So you should just be able to go ahead and click uh, start. You're gonna click the start button and then you're gonna go ahead and walk away and come back, okay? It's gonna take a while depending on how many cards and whether you pick precise or standard, uh, a few minutes to maybe an hour or more. So just go ahead and walk away and come back and uh, pause the visit video and then I'll see you in a moment. Moving on, um, once you're done, um, you are ready to mine. Um, you can click on settings and set some nice little settings back here. Um, there are some settings that you might want to uh, have going. Um, that's up to you. You can research these, learn about these um, in the forums and things like that about how you might want to do it. You can set up your, you can set it up to mine when you like leave your PC running and walk away, right? Which is important. When you mine, it takes the full GPU power. There's just enough power to leave my monitors on. Um, however, everything lags, everything. I can't use my computer if I'm mining with both cards. So I only mine with one card uh, right now while I'm doing this video. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to exit this. Um, I'm gonna close without saving. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start mining again. And it's gonna look like this. You're gonna hit start. It starts mining. And um, just in a few moments here, it's going to load the DAG, which basically it's filling up the memory on your device. And uh, it's gonna start mining here in just a moment. And so once you've done that, congratulations, you've started mining. I kid you not, if you're still watching this, if you skip the part about going and buying a card, um, that's too bad because you would be mining right now if you had the card installed and going. And that's what's awesome is you can go, you can do this today before you go to sleep tonight. If you have about three hours to spare to go to the store, install it, boot, you know, rip open your computer and all that fun stuff, um, you'd be good to go. Now some of you, you may not even have a computer um, to do this. You're going to have to make that investment. I'm not going to cover that in this video today, but what I wanted to do is just show you how simple and easy it is to start mining right away if you have a Windows 10 standard computer and you have a slot to put in a, a new uh, NVIDIA 1070 GPU. Um, there are great benefits for all you gamers out there, obviously, because you can mine and play games. Some of you want to render. Some of you are artists. Um, you make videos and you work in Adobe and things like that. Um, and you want to use NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA will actually unlock special uh, processing features for uh, Adobe, for example, that you can't get elsewhere. So I do recommend that uh, NVIDIA and Adobe have a special partnership. So you can unlock some special um, some special features that way. And basically it just runs a lot faster and is more efficient um, than you'll get on anything else. So here I am, I'm mining again. It's already back up. It's telling me what I'm making right now. Um, and, uh, you know, I started making this video not that long ago. Uh, I started mining right before this video, right before. And I've already got 13 cents piled up. Um, that 13 cents is going to climb in this time tomorrow. I will have well over $5. Um, actually, because I have two cards, I'm going to have a lot more than that. I should have about uh, 10 to $15. Uh, we'll see where it lands. Um, I have not overclocked these cards. Now, that's the hobbyist part. You, ha you have everything set up. You're good to go. Um, now it's time to optimize your cards, um, overclock them, things of that nature. But I did none of that. I did none of it. All I wanted to do today is say, hey guys, I got in my car, I went and bought some cards, I plugged them in, I now have more uh, passive income than I did when I started, and I just want to make it tangible and believable. This is mostly for my friends, my family, the people who are following my channel, people who are interested in getting in mining. Um, a lot, you know, There's a lot of miners out there who will not share this information because they don't want competition. Well, I'm not worried about competition because... The, the cards will sell out no matter what very soon and you need to go out and get them as fast as possible um, and uh, we don't have to worry about competing uh, for, for the rewards. Um, I want the people that uh, know me and follow my channel to share in the success um, that I've been having um, but also have that opportunity to learn and if you're in it and I'm in it then we can talk about it together, learn together and grow together. Um, and it's a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun. If you're watching this, you're already into this stuff, right? If you've made it this far into the video, you're super into it, and I don't know what's stopping you from dropping what you're doing right now. Go start mining, okay? Uh, don't be someone that's interested. Be someone who is involved, all right? So that's it for me. Um, again, my name is King of Dew. I am the host of Dew News. So um, please, if you want to get to know more about cryptocurrency, um, if you want to get to know more about blockchain, please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns about this. I tried to cover it best as I can, but I may have missed something. So please just ask a question. Um, also, I definitely appreciate the donations. Uh, down below, if you uh, look, you can see there's all different types of ways to donate. Um, I hope that this was valuable enough that you would want to um, support the channel. Um, and uh, your support tells me you want more mining videos. And uh, me and my buddy have been talking about doing some mining videos. And uh, if you uh, want to help and support uh, more mining videos, that's a great way to do it. Um, it's, it's a way to show us that you really want to know more. You want to do more. Um, 
I have experienced me and my friend doing both AMD mining and Nvidia mining. We've done, um, we've built mini rigs. At this point, um, we've ran into basically every problem. We've done all the different types of modding and overclocking, and um, we've we've gone through every pain you could possibly go through. And if you are going to get super serious about this and you want to build a rig, I'm talking like you want to go build something with six, seven, eight GPUs, um, you know, that is going to take some effort. It's going to take some work, some expertise. My best advice is, again, to find a friend to do it with. Um, maybe split the cost of a machine together something like that but make sure you're both fiscally invested and you will both um, reap rewards and learn together and you'll have someone to bounce ideas off of someone to uh, learn from um, and it's just when two minds come together it's greater than one so always uh, always look for a friend when you go into these endeavors but make sure uh, you make, make sure that when you go into a partnership you have very clear rules about who's what you know if you're gonna split a machine it's kind of kind of sketchy right so make sure you know who owns what and how much of everything um, it's best if you both own your own machine um, and you both can learn together and go through challenges together so that's it for me um, I hope you guys again enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial I'm still mining still making money guys and I hope you are too by now so um, with that being said I am the king of Dew. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and may the force be with you